Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles. I am so excited to say I did get my hands on the Miniverse Halloween Make It Mini series. We have one of each. Thank you to everyone who realized out there that the wrapper on the inside dictates which uh, item you're going to get since there are only three in this collection. So we're going to do the pumpkin spice latte. We have the pie and we have the caramel apples. So I am really excited to open these all up with you guys. I did pay a premium price. I got these at Claire's, which basically meant it was double the usual price. But at least I knew I wasn't going to get any duplicates then. And I was able to get them right then and there. So some exciting things about that. And I'm very excited to take a look. Um, I do finally have my new tripod set up as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying that already. It should already be hopefully a lot less shaky. I also have a new resin kit that we're going to use so that we can make sure we have enough resin um, with everything in here. Uh, it came with a lot of cool stuff, so I think there's going to be a lot of um, kind of like fun custom miniatures coming up. So if that's your vibe, stay tuned because this is going to be the channel for you. But any hoodle, let's just dive right into this. Let's just start right here. Oh, do I want to start with the pumpkin spice latte? I kind of want to start with the pie. I don't know why that one intrigues me so much. We're going to start with the pie. Now, each of these come with their own table. So that's cool as well. And I finally did my nails. I wanted you guys to have a nice view, which means I'm probably about to destroy them. I really wish I had remembered to grab scissors. Oh, well. We're going to make it work, guys. That's just how it's going to go. So yeah, if you have a Claire's and you're willing to uh, cough up the extra do re me. You can absolutely get all of this set. I'm watching for the holiday one as well because I think that turkey looks so silly and cute. I'd love to put a dollhouse or a turkey in the dollhouse and get me so silly. I know I've been slacking on posting, so we're going to try and get back on it here. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. The capsules are basically the same as before, except they're orange and slightly translucent. We're going to pop everything open. We're going to put together our lovely table, which has a cute little spider web on it. And we're going to use that to build. And then, there they are over there. Instructions. Our little placemat. And here's our guide. Just in case you wanted to see these a little closer up. All right, so hopefully you guys like the new setup. We are just gonna dive right in and chat as we go along. I am very excited to build these, considering how many duplicates I've been getting from the Miniverse stuff. That's why I really haven't been doing them because everything I've gotten has been the same as before. We have a black cake tray or pie tray, I should say. I know some people put the placemat right on it. I don't trust myself. I'm gonna get resin on it and I don't wanna do that. All the bags are really cute, by the way, and Halloween themed. So we have a little pie crust with a little vampire tea. I like to use our paper as well, so they are recyclable. We have our little boo. Um, what is that called again? Cake decor, I suppose. Have a spooky day. This is the whipped cream, which is spooky as well. Whoops. Let's just start throwing it. I really like this one as well, I like this plaid orange, very cute. Whoops, there goes the pie server. And then we've got our little tweezers. And then it also comes with that cap that is a little tiny pumpkin. But I think I'm gonna be like everybody else and just cut off the bottom and use it as a tiny pumpkin because I think it's very cute. I think it's adorable. Yeah, let's put it there so I don't lose it. And then probably I'm gonna make the wild assumption that the chill out bag probably has the resin and it's awfully heavy so it certainly does now i've seen a lot of folks make this and that's why i wanted to have that clear resin at the ready because it definitely looks like there's not enough in there um so i wanted to be prepared off the bat now i know we usually open them all at once and then make them but i was going to change it up this time um and just make one at a time so you guys let me know what you end up thinking of this if you want to change it back up we absolutely can so we're just gonna prepare everything here. Oh, and we're gonna grab a paper plate in case we need it. Sorry, it's winter. I don't know where all my Halloween ones went. But we're gonna make do. We're gonna make do. Okay. Let's grab our pie crust. 
which is adorable. And then, oh, I did not remember to grab toothpicks. Well, we'll just use the tweezers for this first round. And I will grab toothpicks for the next one. I do love these little cans. They are very adorable. Look, they even have a little pole tab. That's so cute. Still trying to get my hands on that alphabet soup. Have not gotten it still. But let me tell you, I've gotten about 12 churros. So I think there's no shortage of churros. I feel like I've noticed a lot of other YouTubers unboxing that a lot of them as well. I wonder if maybe they were like a, a cheaper one and maybe they like were able to disperse more of them. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to also be smart like everybody else was and we're going to do this in layers. And maybe there's more in here than I thought there was. I just took off the little tab on the top. I wonder if this is just a bubble or... Oh. Well, that is actually a decent amount of product. And I do want it to stay this color, so... We are gonna just try it. We're just gonna try it. So we're gonna build, we are gonna do a little layer, we're gonna cure it, and we're gonna keep going. I really like how this looks with like the little flakes. To me, that's very like realistic then. I think it's very cute. Yeah, I better grab toothpicks for the next one too. Or it's gonna just get messier. I also like that they're doing holidays. I think that's really cute. I think they're gonna run out fast, but I hope they think of other things. Like I guess Valentine's Day, you could do like, like a box of chocolates, which would probably be kind of hard because chocolates are very small. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I, God, they are just so creative over there. I love everything they're doing. And I don't, I'm sure some of you, no, I'm sure most of you also watch Brooke's channel. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when she was in that one booth, there was series three of the diner series. And there was also series two of Lifestyle. I could see it in the background. And it looked like there were burgers. Guys, there were burgers. I'm gonna lose my mind when those come out. I'm gonna lose my mind. So we're gonna cure this first a little bit because I want a base so we can put like the whipped cream and um, the little stand in there. Mm. How long is that? No, the stand thing isn't that long. So I think I'm probably going to live to regret not putting that in there now, aren't I? I think we're going to take the risk, guys. We're going to take the risk. We're, I don't know if it'll pay off or not, but we're going to try. That's all we can do, right? Okay, let's get this in the oven. And we are going to use the oven today. I do have a nice little UV portable light, um, but I just have not gotten around to charging it. So we're not going to use that right this second. Um, and while that's curing, I suppose we can move on to our next one. Now, I've heard the caramel apples are a little more complex. And you have to do them in layers. So we're going to do that one last, and we're going to do the pumpkin spice latte next. So we're going to open this one up. And again, it does also have a uh, specific table, which I think is really cute. I don't normally keep all the tables. Obviously, I pass them off to you guys in giveaways. I donate them. Like, I don't need this many small tables. And same with like the shelves from the lifestyle. Like I, it, all you giveaway winners this time around, all of you have gotten a little shelf. Because I figured, especially since I'm sending you all small knickknacks, maybe you'd enjoy having somewhere to display them. You know, just in case you aren't doing the miniverse lifestyle. But that's up to you. I also haven't chatted with you guys in a while, so obviously I'm very chatty this time around. But I've missed all of you. I just have been as busy as a bee. But we're going to stay back on track, hopefully, this time. And we're going to stick to the toys. And we're going to have a blast. Because also, in Brooke's video, I saw a lot of new Dorables coming out. And I really liked those, and I think I'm going to lose my mind. Because I need them all. All of them. Seriously. They're finally doing 101 Dalmatians, and maybe there's not that many of you out there that care, but... I love 101 Dalmatians, and I've always been so bummed that Dorables has never had any. And it looks like they're going to have some. Woo! Could not be more pumped. Okay, we've got the boo table in orange. We've got our little coaster, a ghost. And then we have plenty of bags to get into here. We have our tweezers. We have our little pumpkin. We have a black straw. Oh, that's stuck in the package. All right, next up we have more Have a Spooky Day. We have more Spooky Whipped Cream. I like that this time around too, that they did it so that you could put the straw through it. I thought that was really cool. 
We have another, whoops, have a spooky day. And this time it's like that back cup. And then in here, more spooky day. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the sun has little fangs. I think that's very cute. We've got our little spooky sleeve, which I think is also very cute. And then we have our big old whoop resin, which is our pumpkin spice latte, which I've also seen some people struggle with. So we're just going to have our clear at the ready, just in case we need it, because we never know. Um, and I also want to put the spooky sleeve on in advance, because I think it would be easier to do it now than to do it once everything's in there. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh, and this is also not opening without scissors. So it's going to have to wait. Oh, wait. I have scissors, don't I? Well, what would have been smart is if I knew where I put them. I found them. We're good, guys. We're good. Okay. Ah, get the scissors out of the shot. You guys don't want to see the scissors. I wish I would have cut that more. Uh, okay, good thing it's silicone. So there it is. It's a little bat wing cup thing holder. Very cute. We're just going to slide that on. Because I think it's going to be much easier to do it now than later. And there's the cup with it on there. So we have our cup ready. We have our top ready. Let's get our straw out of the wrapper. Our first layer of pie is still hardening. So we are just going to go ahead and get into our next one. A little pumpkin slice saute. And we're going to have everything ready to go here. And we just got to get this resin out of here. I love that everything is like changed for this series whether that's adding fangs saying spooky changing the color adding pumpkins i just think it's really cute okay let's get all this out of here take the lid off okay well, how are we looking for resin i don't know it kind of looks like there might be enough kind of i hope i don't live to regret this okay well as Per usual, we're going to start with layers. So we're just going to pour a bunch in, stick the straw in, and harden this first round. So let's all cross our fingers that there's enough in here because that makes me very nervous. And I'm covering the entire shot, guys. I am so sorry. Let's try this again. Is this a better angle? Hopefully you guys can see a little better then. Ooh, and it comes out pretty abruptly. But not much. Mostly just air. Oh, that makes me a little nervous. Nothing is happening here. Absolutely nothing. Okay, we're gonna go with Old Faithful, which has seemed to be working for me lately with Miniverse. Watch me be wrong this time. So all I've been doing is shaking it like upside down or warming it in the sink. And that seems to really do it. So right now I'm shaking it upside down and we're gonna see if that doesn't do it. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that worked much better. Much better this time around. The pumpkin spice latte is actually kind of coming out. I'm not super fast or anything, but sorry guys, this is going to have to be two-handed because this jar is very hard. Or bottle, I should say, not jar. I was going to say maybe we can steal some from the pumpkin pie thing, but never mind. That's a totally different color. That would not make an ounce of sense. Ooh, now we're starting to get somewhere. I know it's so hard to see, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to grab it while it's actually coming out since it seems to be kind of coming in like big blobs. Which, as long as we can fill the cup up, I will be a happy camper. I just don't want the whipped cream to be like <laughs> not showing out of the top. That would look so silly. Come on, we're almost there. And then we'll leave it upside down or I'll go heat it up in the water and we'll have just enough to be able to put on our whipped cream and hopefully stick the lid on as well. I don't know about you guys, but I always like to make sure I have a little wet resin on the lid because I like when it like really stays. Like I don't want the lid to be removable, as bizarre as that sounds, but that's just me. Come on, girl. We're doing so good. Just a little more, please. Because I can see our first layer of pie has indeed finished curing. 
so we can grab that next. All right. I'm just gonna pop the straw in real quick and we're gonna harden that first layer. I think so far we're doing pretty good, guys. Let's put this upside down for now. Let's grab the straw. Try to get it as close to the middle as possible. A little bit more to this side. I want to get that air bubble real quick, actually. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Okay. I think this is going to work, guys. I think we got this. So we're going to grab our pie. We're going to... I'm going to need to take out the little shelf I have in there. Because there's not enough room with the straw. There we go. All right. The drink is a curing. So let's move that over and bring our pie back. It was a little crooked. Oopsie doodles. But we should be okay. We should be okay. Can you guys still see that? Yes. Okay. So now we need more resin. We're going to need a little whipped creams. And we're going to need our little stand. So let's prepare in advance. All right. Here we go. Move those over there for now. Okie dokie. Let's grab our resin. Yeah, there's actually a lot of resin in here. I'm pretty surprised. Really should have grabbed toothpicks, but whatever. We're just going to make it work as decided by me. Alright. I kind of like that it's more of a creamy texture too because it kind of helps like get it to where you want it to go, if that makes sense. Rather than it being like runny and it just kind of like flows out on, all on its own. I don't know. I just love the little flakes they have in here. I love it, love it, love it. I think it is so cute. By the way, all you giveaway winners, keep an eye out because... Your goodies will be coming very, very soon. I hope you all enjoy them. And don't worry if you didn't win this time around. There will be another giveaway very, very soon. And we'll get to do some more fun stuff like this. Thank you to everyone who has also subscribed recently. It's been very nice. Okay, what do I think? What do I think? What do I think? Hmm. I think I might be going a little too hard here, but... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just feeling it, guys. We're just kind of going with it. We're going with the flow. Okay. I'm very nervous about this little fella. Oh, but I was told you could put this behind it to make it stand. Although I think I made the resin too high to make it do that. Oh, no. Oopsie. Oh, I sure did. That's okay. It's our little secret. Oh, no. <laughs> that was so cute. I'm so silly. Oh, boo. Literally. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let me go clean this up and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think I saved the pie, but I had to throw it into the cooker before I lost my chance. So we are hoping for the best there. And we are going to continue on with our pumpkin spice for now. Woohoo! All right, we are basically ready. I want to have everything set to go. And then we just need a little more of our pumpkin spice resin. And we should be able to get this one done. This one has been working out very well so far. I just have to hope I don't make a mess on the straw. Watch me do it anyways. I hope not. Okay. And since it's hardened, I'm going to go in on kind of an angle. Just so it can kind of sink in all around. Come on, pumpkin spice, we are doing so good. Well, this one might have to be run under hot water. We might have not to have a niff without it. Not the end of the world though, I suppose. Yeah, I'll go run this under some hot water. At least you guys got to see the majority of it. So I'll go get that hot water going so you can get that whipped cream in there and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, our pumpkin spice latte is hardening up in the oven now 
and I think I was able to save the pie. I think it came out really cute. I got all six whipped creams on. I got the boost stand to come up. I was able to fill up basically all the way to the edge of the pie. And it looks really cute on this little black stand. So I am extremely happy with how this one turned out. And I'm pretty happy with this pumpkin spice latte as well. I almost wish I had gotten a little more resin in it, but honest to goodness, it is not the end of the world. So what do we have next while we are waiting on our pumpkin spice latte? We have our caramel apples. Woo, last one of the day. Let's give it a go. Oh, haven't really destroyed any nails yet, which is always exciting. I say that and watch one's just gonna chip. These tear strips are not bad compared to a lot of the other ones I've seen. Pretty good. All right. I just jinxed it. That's okay. We're just here to have a good time. I hope that for the holiday one, they also do the wrap on the side since I think it's only a three piece collection again. So you know which ones you're getting. Cause I'm fine with paying the premium as long as I'm not getting 10 of the same thing. Nothing irritates me more. I do not want 10 of the same thing. Here's our beautiful little table. This time it is plaid. Very, very cute. Let's move our pie a little bit. And then let's see, whoops, if I don't throw the ingredients around what we are working with. So more spooky day. We have a cute little tray. Cause y'all already know what this is. We've got our tweezers, a little spoon, a little pumpkin, topper. We've got more spooky day. We got some ooky spooky sprinkles. We got some more, which I think this is like the graham cracker crumble, yep. I've seen a lot of tips and tricks with that that we're going to try to use today, so. Oh, these are like zombie apples. Here's our green apples. Oh, they come so cute in here, I almost don't want to take them out. And then we have what I assume is our caramel. So we're definitely doing this one in sections, um, because from what I've seen, people are doing layers, and I think that's coming out really cute. Um, I do. I did set up my little UV light on the side as well as the ovens. So now we've. Oh, see, this is what I mean. And the nail polish is no more. Bummer. Sorry about that, guys. I was doing such a good job. I felt like. Oh well. I'm sure none of you really care that much, but let's get into the caramel. Oh, and the top side to come off for me. That worked out just fine. Love that it looks like real caramel. Caramel, however you like to say it. Let's get our apples. Bloop. And then they flew away. So I already noticed that they don't stand great on their own. And they're okay. But I think if we do this right, we, we can do this. We can do this, guys. Um, okay. We might be sealing... Because what I've seen people use a lot seems to be the method of pouring your toppings in here, dipping, hardening, no, doing multiple coats, then dipping it into your toppings, then sticking it to the tray, bam. So that's what we're going to try to do. I, the success rate of this, I am not sure, but, but we're going to try. We are going to try. So we're just going to grab a green apple. We're going to grab our caramel and I'm just going to kind of twist it around in there. Just like that. Kind of want it to be a little smoother, so I'm just going to take it along the side. There we go. And now, this is probably going to be the plain apple, so I definitely want to do more than one layer. So I am just going to take off to the side my very small Let's Resin light. And I am just going to get that going here on this here apple. I'm not going to harden it all the way, just enough so that when I put more resin on, it will stick. Could you imagine if I just ruined all that caramel? I'd be so bummed. I would be bummed. Okay, so it's hardened really fast. So I think we're going to leave that off and we're just going to grab round two here. 
And we're just gonna scoop some caramel on. Yeah, I think the two coats is definitely, maybe even three if you're really feeling it. But I kind of want the apple to show through so you know it's an apple, so. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna stick it to the tray. No pressure. All right, we've got one apple down, guys, one apple down. So let's do our second one. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should cure that one so it doesn't fall down, huh? But what if I need to move it? Okay, we're gonna leave it for now because I'm clearly very indecisive today. Okay, let's grab our next apple. Now, I don't think this one necessarily needs multiple coats. What I do think it needs is all the way around coat so that when you stick it in the sprinkles, it sticks all the way around. All right, so we've got another coated apple here. We've got our lovely little capsule of sprinkles and I am gonna just attempt to stick these to the caramel. So far we're working pretty good here. I would not say it's perfect, but it's doing its job pretty well here. I'm trying to get some more of those sprinkles going. I think this is coming out pretty cute. And I'm sure I can just throw a few extra sprinkles on the top if I really want to make sure that it looks like it's across the board. My only bad thing about the capsule is it always seems to leave one side like blank. So we're gonna just try to use our tweezers real quick. See if we can't get that to kind of flatten. Sorry, I know I'm probably off the screen. And the bottom can be empty. We don't need sprinkles on the like bottom bottom, but. Okay. I'm somewhat happy with it. I just think it needs more sprinkles. Maybe I need more sprinkles on the top and that's what's bothering me, probably is. Okay, of course I have no, oh, I do have clean tweezers handy. Yes. Okay, we're just gonna make a mess, guys. That's that's the decision I've made at this point. Come on. Come on, little sprinkles. Okay, you know, what would be really intelligent is if I just put another capsule underneath it. But I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, adding them to the top is helping. That's what's making it look more real. Okay. We found the, the true culprit of why I wasn't liking it so much. Okay, now I think I'm happy with it. So there we are. I think that's looking really cute. And before I make a bigger mess, I think we're going to get it sat down. But now I see the issue if I don't cure it because then that apple is going to touch this apple. All right, we'll cure the sprinkle one over here. That way at least I can move it around then. I think. And then we can do the graham cracker one kind of in the same way. And I think it will work. I'm glad I didn't get these like right away. I watched a lot of other people's videos learning their tips and tricks. Cause like, this is not easy, these little apples. So I like everybody's little like ideas that they've come up with. Okay, let's see how that feels. Okay, I feel like they're mostly sticking, so. We're gonna trust and believe here, friends. Just need one of my 50 pairs of tweezers. Scooch. Oh, I think we're really doing this, guys. I think we're really doing this. This is exciting, and I have accidentally cured some resin onto my hand. Oops. That was not intelligent. But that's okay. It's coming off. It's a learning experience. Okay, this one kind of has resin in it, so we're going to get rid of that one. 
and probably should get rid of all those sprinklies. Oopsie. And then we're going to take one more. We're going to get our sprinkles out of here. Oops, we're spilling everywhere. That's always a choice. Come on. Then we need to get our crumble ready. The only thing I don't love about this crumble is I feel like it's awfully thick in comparison to most of the things in the miniverse. But you know what? We're trying it. We're trying it. It's all we can do, right? Here we go, guys. All right. I've got the UV light on the side in case we need it. And then let's do our last apple. Here we go. We're going to twist it one more time. And there's actually a decent amount of resin left, so I'll probably end up keeping this one. Don't know when I need the caramel again, but it's almost clear, so could work for other items. And now we're just going to try our dip and dunk. That's what I worried about. Like, they're just so chunky. All of you are going to scream, but we're going to fix this with tweezers. Just to flatten it out a little, because otherwise it looks so, like, jagged, I feel like. I mean, these apples do tend to look jagged when they have, like, the little nuts on them, but not this much. It's like it would tear your mouth open. Okay, I think I'm mostly happy with that. We're going to try to pour on a little more. Probably going to regret that, but... We're gonna try it anyways. Oh yeah, that's going everywhere. Good thing I decided not to vacuum until I did this first because this would be quite a mess. I'm just trying to throw some towards the top. I wanna make sure as much as possible is covered. A little bit of green poking out is fine, but I don't want a whole lot. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy. We obviously need to move the bottom a little, so it is somewhere it can rest. I think that should do it. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be really tight, though. Mm. Okay, kind of glad I didn't cure this yet, because now I need to figure out how on earth I'm going to make it fit. this one either so we're just gonna keep scooting there we go it's not perfect that is for certain but I think I like it I'm just gonna use my long fingernails to to ruin it that's what I'm going to do okay trying to very carefully fix that spot I just messed up Super duper. Love when I do things like that. So smart. That's what I get. I know when it's done and I still poke, 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 poke. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good here. Oh, I bet they staggered the apples. Dummy. Yeah, I bet they did that. Would have been smart. Okay. I think it's mostly fixed. Especially now that they're staggered. Oh, why did I not think of that? Look at that. Not my brightest moment. And you know what? This apple now looks silly without all this stuff on it. So I'm going to add a little more caramel to that one. And hope I don't regret it. But yeah, I think these are really fun. Again, if you find them anywhere else but Claire's and you can get them at regular price, do it. Especially since you can see, like, which ones you're getting. Um... But otherwise, you're just taking your chance of ordering it online and hoping for the best. So to me, I'd rather pay the premium and know I'm getting, like, you know, three unique ones or whatever. No! Oh, yeah, this is getting worse. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, here's everything we made today. I think it all came out so cute. Our pumpkin spice latte. I really think that came out great. 
the coaster. We've got our little spooky pie. Also think that came out really good. And then we, of course, also have our caramel apples, which I also think came out really cute. This one's giving me a little bit of a hard time, so I'm gonna stick it back under the UV light. But I think for the most part, these came out super duper cute. This is a really fun set to work on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it really helps girl out. Stay tuned for future giveaways and more mini unboxings. Thanks guys, bye.